everybody. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about bases. Bases. So most of you are familiar with these guys. 32 millimeter round bases from Games Workshop. And they're neat, right? Uh, <clears throat> they're different from what I'm used to back in the day. They used to have this little slot right in the kind of the middle, I think, or maybe a little offset from the center. Uh, but you'd stick your figurine in there, or your miniature in there, and you'd glue it on, and you'd have a pretty secure footing. And then you'd uh, kind of dress this up a bit, and um, you know, add some flocking, maybe some paint, dress it up, make it look nice, and you have it yourself a nice based model. Well, um, I'm not great at that stuff, so I saw someone on the internet talking about the fact that you can get bases of all types uh, to help those of us who are basing challenged, and so that's exactly what I did. I got a couple of different sets, and I'm happy with some. I'm less happy with others, so I thought we'd give it a closer look. So, I bought a couple of different types, and what I wanted was something with pretty high resolution uh, made out of resin. So there's a couple of options out there. You can get these resin bases, or you can get the uh, 3D printed bases. And one of the things I've noticed with 3D printed, well, anything was that you can always see the little printing lines right and those are really annoying and that's not really something that I wanted on a base so I got these instead uh, I went on Etsy uh, there's quite a bit of uh, a selection there uh, one of my initial mistakes was that I ended up buying uh, bases from uh, individuals from the UK which is great uh, I'm sure it's a lovely country and all my favorite streamers are from the UK. But it takes a long time to ship, uh, particularly now in the US, because, uh, well, you know, the worst timeline and all. Anyway, I finally got these, and as luck would have it, luck, right? Uh, I haven't yet finished painting my my dudes, my Hellblasters. I still have the sergeant here, uh, as you can see. Uh, I haven't done a great job on the Sarge. Um, I have some ways to go on the face. This is like the base coat. It's not a good base coat. I need to figure something out. Because if I don't, I'm going to have to replace that head. Anyway, this video... Oh, also, look at this hideous, hideous holster. Okay, this video is not about how bad I am. There'll be plenty of those. This video is about bases. So, I got... A couple so I got these I also got these and so they're two different types I got a third type and I'll show you those after I'm, we're done here so the first type are these uh, kind of industrial uh, like a hive terrain kind of I don't really remember which side the camera lens is in but so here's one of them so you can see let's look at the bottom so you see the bottom there's no 3d printing lines on that piece okay I'll pull out a macro lens and see if we can get a even closer look to that but this is a resin base it's industrial so you can see it's kind of like a metal grating here you can paint it up dark do some dry brushing to give it uh, the nice uh, metallic feel. And there's like some industrial tubing. And you'll notice how there's a couple of different options here depending. Uh, well, so that way you have some variety, right? So there's a couple of different tubings on this one. And then I kind of freaked out a little bit. So I got this one. And I think you'll be able to tell... Oh, there's some like, there's some, oh, am I getting washed out? Let's look. Okay, so I've dimmed my lights a little bit to make it a little, it still looks pretty washed out, but I think you can kind of see how that tubing has 
Like at first I thought it was crud. Like I was like, oh my gosh, they didn't, they had a little spill. But no, I think it's supposed to be that way. This is like a tube and this is like industrial waste spewing out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I got to this one and it's a different pattern, but more crud on it. Uh, like I said, I, I thought that was an accident in the craftsmanship, but no, it's uh, designed that way. I don't remember that when I bought it, but that's okay. I can figure that out. It's all, you know, I have plenty of uh, neon green paint that I have no other use for since I don't have any Necrons at the moment. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw that, some on there, see what that looks like. And here's a close-up of the industrial looking resin bases. So you can see there's that kind of crud on them, but you see it's essentially a tube or a series of tubes, much like the internet is a series of tubes. Um, and then you have this guy with grossness coming out of that tube. And you've got that guy with kind of a layer of grossness wrapped on the tube. Oh, you know what I hadn't noticed? Now let's see if I can get my tweezers in there. But you see this guy. Then has like a ribbed, like a rippled, like almost like a, like a tube. It's got texture to it that I didn't realize was there. This is one of the things that I thought would be cool about resin bases. There's no way you get this kind of detail out of a 3D printed model uh, base. So I wanted to show you the back side. Now it's got crud from my cutting mat, but here it is. See how smooth that is? There is no 3D printing lines. I think that's as close as I can get to like the imperfections of the printing process, but even that probably is just from scraping it off the, the support or whatever. So, oh, you know what? No way. Okay, take a look at that. This is another thing I hadn't noticed before. But those tubes, they're hollow. I mean, they're not all the way hollow. I think they're probably just hollow kind of a couple of millimeters in, but that's a tremendous amount of detail. Um, yeah, that's okay. That's neat. I'm happy with that purchase. I am gonna be happy to use them in my build and make them look ugly. Um, cause that's what I do. Man, look at that. See th that tube right there? That, tell me that's not wiring. Oh, okay. That's really neat. So that's this industrial set. The second set was kind of neat, I thought. Uh, it is basically this brick pattern. And the idea, I think, is I'm going to, you know, uh, prime it and then kind of go over it with some gray, maybe do some red, maybe some black, maybe like multicolored bricks. I'm not sure yet. It's a little more intricate than I thought, but it's a cool pattern, right? And so now these are almost all of them the same. So they're all brick, and I don't know what happened there. That kind of does look like a an accident or a quality control issue. But you'll notice that there's kind of like, there's a gunk in there. I may have to get a brush and just, I'll get one of my dry brushes and see if, uh, you know what, maybe I'll give them a wash with some soap and water, because there's, there, there's some grit on them. But still, I mean, take a look, right? That's the back side of it. And you can see how there's just, there's no, oh, excuse me, 
there's no 3D printer lines because this isn't made out of a 3D printer. It's made out of a, out of a resin printer. Um, so here I got this guy, which I'm a lot less sure of. You'll notice there's still the brick pattern, but there's also some crud on there. Uh, I, maybe that's like dirt. It's supposed to be dirt or maybe some falling concrete. Maybe that's what I'll make it. It just looks a little weird, and it didn't help that there's all this grit in the grooves of the thing. Uh, I I don't think that's supposed to be there, but I'll give it a wash. So, I had some quality control concerns about this, and now take a look at this guy. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that this is not supposed to be this way. So, you still have the, the, you still have the brick pattern uh, with extra grit for your pleasure. Um, but you have all this stuff on the side, and I don't know what that is. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I mean, maybe it is, like, say, extra rocks, but none of the others has that. Well, okay, so there's this other one that's extra gritty. Um, see, that's not just grit. That's actual, like, stuff. So I might have to clean these up a bit. And so I'm a little disappointed in that they're not... They're not perfect, y'all. Uh, and these cost, like... I don't know, maybe eight bucks for five or something like that. Well, I'm still going to use them because uh, no matter what, they're still a little nicer than uh, this guy. I mean, not so much nicer as so much as uh, it's going to take a lot less work to make that one look cool than it will to make this one look cool. Like to make this one look cool, I have to find wires and maybe some plastic bits to make it look like like a fence or a grate or maybe some tube and some I've seen people put in like things that look like lights no thanks that's a lot of work maybe someday but today is not that day all right and here I just wanted to show everyone the the resin printed um, brick bases so you see how there's going to be some variety here. I don't know if it's quality control or just some kind of weird grittiness. I don't know. But it looks dusty or something. This looks even worse. But you see how that has just got like crud in there? and It looks like it got resin dropped in it. But for all I know, it's like it's supposed to look like that. You know what I mean? Like, it could be the artist's touch, like mortar is coming out, and maybe, you know, that's uh, that's like lichen coming out of the stone. You know how that kind of can happen. So, I don't know. I'm going to give them a wash and a brush, and hopefully um, I, can, I can make more peace with them. And here, I just want to show you the back of one of these. Okay. So there it is. That's the resin base. Um, so, I don't know if I've inspired you to use these for your modeling purposes. Um, there's plenty of people on the web who are selling these. I don't recommend any specific person. Uh, I went on Etsy just because I'm familiar with that site. Maybe there's a better place to buy these. I am open to your recommendations. All right, I hit it with uh, some soap and water. A stiff bristled brush, it's a little better. Still looks janky though. Um, and I'm not entirely sure, but I think I may have flattened out an edge with a hard bristled brush. It wasn't like a metal brush, it was a, just a stiff brush. Um, so these resin, uh, uh, bases aren't going to be durable in that way. I mean, most of us aren't going to be washing and brushing our, uh, our war, uh, space marine minis, but just in case, uh, I may have to, I don't know, take a pick at it or something, but cleaning off some of the edges, I'm sure it's still usable. I'll figure something out. So I'm going to 
paint these up somewhere along the line and I'll use them well not on the hell blasters not on these guys uh, because for these guys I got this third set which I'll show you right Ciao. so the only issue with showing you those is that I <laughs> well I painted I sort of started painting them already uh, it was during this hiatus that I took from recording and kind of painting because life got busy and um, and painting is hard and recording and video editing is even harder, y'all. Why didn't anyone tell me it was going to be hard? Uh, but, so, like, I've made a little progress. Like, I've, I've, I've made... So this was my pilot dude. And this was... These are the Hell Blasters, and I'm making some progress with them. Uh, you'll notice uh, they've they've got some stuff happening, right? So they've got the they've got the Aquila, they've got some metal details, they've got a horrible holster paint job. Um, anyway, we'll talk about my mediocrity at a later date. What I wanted to show you here is these guys. Boom. So these are, I'm pretty sure, by the same dude, or the same person, I have no idea if it was a dude or a lady or a, a, a frog person or a, a, a werewolf, whatever, whoever it was that did this for me, it, w it was the same material, like the resin, it was this like a, like a translucent blue. Um, it's a really pretty color, actually, I, I'm digging it. Uh, but that, these were exactly the same, and... I had, you know how I had some quality control issues with these guys? Well, I had the same issue uh, with these. And I thought, ah, whatever. I'm just going to prime them. Nobody cares. And then, to my surprise, when I primed them, I primed them up in the Corax white. And um, these don't look half bad. So, in fairness, these aren't just primed. Um... So here, I'm going to, all right, these, you'll notice they have a couple of different colors, right? Uh, so there's like this one right here. You can see there's still a bit of white, but there's like this gray covering over it. So over the Corax white, I added a, a wash. Uh, it was just, um, uh, geez, it was just a little of this, uh, Army Painters Matte Black, but I, I, I did a lot of watering down uh, of the matte black. Um, and I just, I got one of the brushes that's getting nice and crappy on me. Let's see if this is the one. No, this is not the one. This is still reasonably nice. Here we go. This is my crappy one. So this brush is getting, like I haven't, I haven't finished a single unit yet. And it's already all kind of jacked up. And I've been taking care of it. I don't know, man. It's cheap, it's fine, but still, like, come on, come on. Anyway, so I use this because I don't, I basically said I don't care about this brush anymore. It's it's dying, I'm going to abuse it, and so it's going to be my, my rough washing brush. So uh, I took some of that stuff and I just kind of just uh, jammed it in there, jam, 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 jam. And so I got this awesome looking Troy, I mean, it, it, I don't know. To my eye, it looks like rocks. And so, honestly, I could just base my models on that, and I'm probably done. And if I was a smart man, that's exactly what would happen. But since I'm not, my plan is to add some of this stuff. Now, the idea is... Oh, wait, this doesn't have... This is brand new. I just bought this at my... Uh, local hobby shop, uh, seven dollars and some cents, so probably closer to eight dollars uh, American for those of you um, from other parts of the world. I, I honestly, I can't. If I had this in my hand, I just can't not shake it. It's a weird compulsion, um, probably from back in the day. I did this with Army Painter too. Um, so. The reason I'm going with that as opposed to one of the others, or just leaving it uh, well enough alone, is because these uh, Hell Blasters have this reddish wash to them. And so the idea is that they were kind of caked with rust, or maybe, 
maybe they're caked with, uh, you know, a little Russian iron rich dust. And so my plan is to uh, add this stuff to the surface of the bases, make it nice and thick. And so in between the cracks, it'll still be black or like kind of like really dark gray. Uh, but on top, on the surface, I'll, I'll have this stuff and it'll be nice and crackly. Uh, that's the plan. I want to see if that's going to work. I'd like it to succeed, but I don't know until I try it. So I'm going to try it.